hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is adrio and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back today i'm in my car and yeah i have a confession to make so you know how i did like you know driving in australia video and i said you know i was going to go and get my driver's license well i did not go <laughs> i did not go and get the license and um this was majorly because of covid i'm going to blame it on covid since everybody you know everything is covid these days but i'm going to blame it on covid um the what's it called the new south wales offices were closed because you had to write it in their office it was closed due to covid and then when they finally opened up they had like a huge backlog and they had bookings for like one two months straight up so i couldn't even find any available bookings so i just said you know what see i'm gonna be driving with my nigerian license like that it did not hurt anybody but um like i said in that video if you if you haven't watched it please go and watch it i was dropping germs up and down you know go and watch it but um like i said in that video um <clears throat> there are some things it, it's not like you can't drive with your nigerian license you can it's just that for identification purposes there are some times that you just need like you know their driving license because <sighs> I don't know how to like i'm looking for the best word to represent it but like i feel like their driving license for identification covers like two different identifications already this is because they use it as like you know proof of of course proof of um, age and then they also use it you know to check your signature obviously check your face you know and then your address so most times when you're trying to provide you know um identification for something they usually ask for your driver's license that which is like that that's like the first thing they will ask you for if you can't provide you know the australian driving license they will ask you to bring two or three you know identifications or sometimes you might not even have those identifications that are required or you'd already provided them and don't have any extra identification so i was just tired of like the whole drag and then Dimage actually motivated me yeah Dimage motivated me so Dimage what got his own license since like march believe it or not he was so determined he took the practice test religiously like he watched the video he downloaded the te um, practice tests on his phone he was <laughs> it was see the way he was doing the practice test was even annoying me because i'm like come on like everywhere where shops anywhere he's doing his practice test he took it religiously he took the dkt test if you don't know what dkt is go and watch the video i'm gonna link it up here so it's driver's knowledge test but still don't watch the video now yeah <laughs> he did it he passed it he went to write you know he went to do the practice driver's test he also passed it you know yeah and now yeah he has the full australian license i mean i'm taking my nigerian license up and down you know calculating like are they chasing me you know is it that i'm illegal i'm not illegal in this country so am i not getting the proper documentation so anyhow um that motivated me to go and get my own so yeah i'm going to go and get my own right about now yeah so i have an appointment for 11 and i'm trying to see you know how i can get you know just do it and get it over with to be honest i've been here for what, a couple of years now and i don't have the license so yeah and the image is always rubbing into my face so i'm going to take you guys with me i'm going to take you along um the process um i might not be able to tape stuff because i know that mobile phones are not allowed um when you're about to write it but i'm just gonna show you what i can show you and um i don't think i'm going to post the video even after my dkt i'll probably you know record when i pass <laughs> but like you know i'm not going to um post it immediately i'm just going to post it when i actually have my australian license so this vlog even if it might look short it will probably you know be about like what two to three three weeks or a month i've given myself you know one month to be able to get the license so i'm just gonna say it's probably gonna be one month long but yeah today is what's today's date today is the 26th of may 2022 and hopefully i remember to say the dates when i finally get my australian license um the license comes in the mail so even if i don't get it i'll probably sh just show you um what's if i'll show you the sleep the temporary one you can use till you actually get the bali <laughs> so to actually get the proper license so you know stick with me let's go and get my license finally <laughs> see ya <laughs> Hi 
guys today is tuesday 31st of may and i am so nervous because today is the day today is the day of my driving test so as you as you already know the last from the last clip i was going to take my dkt which i passed by the way um i took my dkt i passed it and um i was like oh let me try my luck and find find um an available slot sorry i'm very nervous that's why I feel like I'm biting my tongue, but then usually if I'm looking for like a driving test within my area, because where I am is sort of like a CBD, most locations are like fully booked for like a month or two. So it's pretty hard to find something like immediate, but I think that someone canceled and I was lucky enough to find one within like, like within the next three days. So I checked on Friday and by Tuesday, I saw like not Tuesday, but like today i saw an available date for today by 11 so i was pretty exci excited and i booked it immediately and then i'm like oh shit because before you take it you know they have the way they drive here and there are signs and what to look out for and how to hold the steering wheel believe it or not and i was just like oh my god you know um i got like this guy to not like this guy he's a driving instructor to kind of train me and then he was like oh you know when i started I was first telling me that i uh, know i would have to you know take more tests that was my first day i did one hour with him and you kind of have to pay one hour during the weekend 60 dollars and then during the weekdays it's 55 dollars and i was looking at myself like oh shit you know i didn't budget for this but you know let's do this i just want to get it over with i did the test i did the test i did the test on no not tests not the test i've not done the test but i did the driving test you know in practice it's your focus focused you have to stop being nervous the lord is with you anyhow i did the driving practice whatever on sunday then i went back and i did two hours yesterday which was monday and then today is the driving test i already did 30 minutes um now i'm just kind of waiting and i'm just like oh fingers crossed but you know i'm a child of the lord and i'm not gonna fail i do not accept failure so um i'm just waiting now it's a waiting game once it's time for me to start i'm going to go in and try to get myself ready i'm going to see if i can video but you already know that when i'm nervous or anxious like this i can't really video because my mind will not be there to actually bring out my phone to record anything because i'm you know i'm nervous you know so um wish me luck guys wish me luck <laughs> wish me luck i'm gonna pass i'm gonna pass i'm gonna pass because i'm a driver i've been driving in lagos it's not Australia that will come and you know, fall my hand, but I you get what I mean. Yeah. So see you guys when I'm done. I'm gonna let you know how it went. Yeah, and if it's a bit dark, it's because I'm just kinda packed in like it's not a basement, but it's a parking lot to do this video. So it's a bit dark before I actually head on the road now and you know start driving or um come down from the car. And I didn't want to do it while working because my have been like you know a bit loud, so bear with me with this my forever terrible lighting but let's see how this goes i'm see i have faith i have faith i have faith but yeah yeah i have faith faith and work <sighs> see you guys when i'm done hi guys so let me just say what happened i'm on my way out with my lovely lola we have dinner somewhere but as i was coming down i said i'm like you know what let me check my mail and just kind of see if my driver's license is back or is around is it back or around i don't even know um, if around if it has gotten to me if it has been sent you know they said 10 working days and i have been anticipating it but it's available now yeah i have opened it but like i got this in the mail and then this is kind of like the only thing that has something that feels like a card inside so i'm like fingers crossed that it is mine it's bumpy i know it's bumpy well, well see but should are not smart but i'm excited i was gonna say Ooh, watch me open it but then i can't i can't do that because i'm gonna well have to hold this and lola is driving so i'll show you what it looks like so i was doing like a wrap-up contest for one of my videos and i just realized that for my um driver license review actually don't have an ending it just ended like really abruptly because i was in a car going out with my friend and basically showing uh my envelope so the thing is i'm so excited i got my driver's license it has been such a long journey for me from you know saying i was going to do it last year covid doing it and then i actually had an issue so if you have a nigerian license 
they, they 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 used to do it before whereby they ask you to go and verify your license it doesn't have if you're lucky it wouldn't happen to you if you're not lucky it might happen to you so they'll tell you to go and verify your license at the nigerian consulate so that happened to me funny thing is dimitri changed his license and you know it wasn't required for him to do that but for me i had to go to the i had to go to nigerian consulate to verify my um, nigerian license basically i needed them to say that this license is from nigeria is approved is in their system and most people think that for you to do that you have to go to canberra but i didn't need to i called them because the best thing with nigerian immigration or the best thing with the nigerian embassy is that don't trust the websites totally call them they will tell you what you know what is expected i had gone to the websites i saw what was listed but i still made the phone call to be sure because i actually thought that i needed to go to canberra and then they told me that oh i don't need to come there i could just do everything and it's not free guys you have to pay a hundred dollars um at the post you know post office so if you see the list of things like that, that that will be needed for you to verify in the nigerian embassy maybe passport a photocopy there's a form to also fill and then the hundred dollars and something else i can't really remember at the moment but after i did that i took it back to um service and sw office and they had previously put a lock on my my um they had previously put a lock on my profile and when i took this letter from nigerian immigration there it was cleared off and then i was given my full australian license that was that's the end I was really excited about that because to be honest i felt like <sighs> i've passed the initial stage usually if they're going to tell you to um verify your license they will tell you even before you write the the dkt i had gone to one center and then they didn't have a problem with my license but then while trying to find an available um date close while trying to find an available date for my driving test is knows that dkt which is the driver's knowledge test and then the, you know the dt which is the driver's test they're two different things um dkt is um, a computer based test basically where you answer questions and the dt oh, myself i'm getting confused now the dt is an actual practical test so you get to drive while an instructor is beside you or uh, what do they call those people not an instructor Oh yeah, it's the instructor, but someone is beside you, kind of grading you, um, and giving you directions. So you're just driving, and I go take your next left, round about, take it like that, like that. Yeah, and because I was trying to find a closer one, I didn't book it in the same place where I wrote my test. And now getting to that place now, and I think I forgot one paper like that, or they didn't give me back the paper. It was just a crazy thing. I didn't get the paper that stamped to say that my part, my 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 stuff has been verified, or you know it was good to go while trying to pay for the new license this is at that point where they told me that oh i had to verify it so i had passed the dkt i had passed the driving test and i was basically trying to pay for oh give me my license and they said no um we have to you have to go and verify it and i had to obviously go through that long process we took about a week to be honest because i sent it to the nigerian embassy with the return packet meaning they're supposed to return it once they've done it this took them about like a week to do and that's because i even called to follow up but there was somebody else in the nigerian um embassy i don't know his name but he was super helpful he called me um and tried to just follow up for me so it was really helpful with helping me do that and two days after that i actually got like my letter of you know verification saying that my license was good to go and you know that's how i got my license so um, I'm encouraging everybody to go out, change your license. It's not such a hard process. Once you get through the, you know, DKT and the driving test, you should be good to go. Like now that I have done it, I'm asking myself like, okay, why didn't I do it since all these days? Like why, 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 why didn't I do this? But you never know. Yeah. Um, if you end up things to the end of this video, thank you, thank you for watching my driving get to my driver's license in australia video i finally got my driver's license in australia video i'm excited and i hope that you're excited for me see you in my next one bye